But first, but first, but first. <laughs> uh, so yes, so this ships with some pretty cool firmware that already gives you like sunrise, sunset, moonrise. Of course, you have to program in your location um, and also time, of course. Yep. Time and temperature. Uh, temperature um, from the temperature board. And is there anything else on the original? I think that was it. I think it was time, temperature. Oh, and one world clock slot if you want to have an alternate time zone. Ah, uh, got it. And so, but there are also some other cool pieces of firmware that you can flash on here that are that are already made. So um, at sensorwatch.net. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sensorwatch.net. And so let's see, there, yeah, there are a bunch. Let me kind of do this right now so that y'all can see. There we go. So um, there are all of these at the top here. So movement standard is what it ships with. And then there's focus. Yeah, so tomato timer, what is, <laughs> what is tomato timer? <laughs> so I believe the term Pomodoro timer is trademarked, but oh it, okay. it, is a, it is a system of productivity where you have a moment, like a duration of focus time followed by a break of, of five minutes. So uh, I think, I, I did not, by the way, this is the value of community. I did not build this watch face. Uh, Wesley Ellis, who goes by Tanak on Twitter, he built several watch faces, including the tomato timer. Um, but yeah, so you'll have 25, min 25 minutes of like deep focused work and then it'll beep at you, you know, take a five minute break, take a walk, take a breather, and then mm -hmm. it'll beep at you to get back to it. Um, nice. Yeah. And then we have the athlete, which is all sorts of stopwatches, countdowns, exercise count, pulsometer. So it, that has to be an extra part. It is not. <laughs> a pulsometer is actually a watch complication dating back to the 19th century. The idea is you hold down a button on the watch and you listen for your pulse. Ah, uh, okay. So you're, you're manually counting. Got it. Right. But basically all you have to do is count, I believe it's 30 pulses. And then when you let go, the number I've displayed on the screen is the beats per minute of that. So, right. Yeah. Cool. Not, not, not quite as shiny as your, you know, pulse oximeter watch. I, know, but... like, <laughs> I was like, wow, what, how small can you get that for a sensor on a sensor board? You know, and I think it is cool to think oh, like, I mean, you know, this, this is a, Obviously, watches do it, so it is and possible. it's a very classic watch complication. Like doctors, like in the you know golden era of mechanical watches, would have this as a as an option. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, and then, so we have the one that I'm interested in, which is the backpacker, and this has clock, sunrise, sunset, and I think it also has moon moon phase too, or moonrise. Oh, does it not? I, I meant to I meant to have that in there. It. I think it says when I scrolled down, it had more. It said, okay, moon phase. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, it is in so, there, good. <laughs> so yeah, cool. So we have sunrise, sunset, moon phase, and temperature, of course. I really like the temperature log because it is always interesting to see just how cold did it get last night? Because I felt pretty cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then, I, yeah, the blinky light could definitely be useful. Although, as you've pointed out, it is definitely a battery killer. So perhaps only in emergency situations. Yeah. But it's, yeah. Nice, it's, it's nice to just have it on your wrist in case. <laughs> yeah. And then there's Stargazer, which has some astronomy in it as well. I think declinations to planets. Mm -hmm. You and... can calculate, yeah, like telescope coordinates for your, for your planets. <laughs> nice. And then Deep Space Now, which has Mar Mars time on it, <laughs> and any other planetary times that you would like to input. Uh, the world clock I just put on because uh, the Deep Space uh, Network is in three places, Goldstone, Canberra in Australia, and um, Madrid in Spain. Mm -hmm. So you could put those three in. So if you needed to, you know, pick up the phone, and dial up one of the big dishes talking to the sky. I don't know. Nice. <laughs> you know, as you might, you know? You know? know. <laughs> And then alt time, simple clock, beat time, and day one. What is a council day number of days from a given date? So I, I imagined it as how many days have you been alive? Um, ah, okay. So, yeah. So it counts up. It's not like time remaining till, like, right. it's not a countdown to a date. I've seen new parents who, like, there's, like, a clock out there where it starts counting from a day, and, like, a new parent will, like, start the day on, like, day one of their, their baby, their newborn, yeah. and, you know, just count up from there. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Awesome.